Welcome to the series where we are going through a computer application technology prac paper or paper one for CAT for grade 12s for the June 2024 supplementary exam. Just a reminder, there are links to the data files in the video description, as well as links to the other questions. Go give the paper a try, go try out this question and then come back to this video and see if the questions that you struggle with to see how to do them. So let's get stuck into this, the web page design or the HTML question, which is question six. So here we've got question six, it's a web design question. We can't use Word, we must use an HTML editor. So we're going to, first of all, six one, open up the six one advert. So I'm going to show you how I do this just to remind you. So we've got the 6-1 advert. So I'm going to first right click on it and edit it with, for example, your notepad editor. If you've got notepad, you can use that. Um, I've got notepad plus plus. I prefer that one. So I'm going to use notepad plus plus. I'm going to open it with notepad plus plus. So here is the question over there. And then I'm also going to double click on it to open it up in the default browser. Hopefully you've got Chrome or whatever browser you are using on your machine. So I'm going to open it up in Chrome quickly. And so here it is. So I'm going to drag this one to the left hand side and then I'm going to open up the HTML on this side. It's quite small. So I'm going to make the view a little bit bigger and zoom in a bit, which we can actually just control and scroll in a little bit so we can see the text a little bit better. So yeah, we can make changes and yeah, we can see the changes being made. And it should look like this when we are done. So let's go through 6.1.1, use HTML code so that the word membership will display in the web browser tab. Just a reminder that you have at the bottom of the question paper, this page where you've got your HTML tag sheet. And I'll just show you straight away, like the title it says, defines the title for the web page. If you know about that, then that will be in the browser tag. So that's the, the tag that we're going to use for this question. So use this, you can tear this out of your paper and actually use this as a reference point for the, the HTML question. So to display it in the web browser tab, we need to use the title tag. So if you look over here, you can see that the word membership doesn't appear in the tab. So you can see they've actually put the word membership in the head part. The head part is where you're going to put your title. So we just have to put our title tags around the word membership. So we open and close our title tag. If we click on it, does it go purple? Yes, it is. Then, then we can save it. Now I want you to watch here when I click refresh. Do you see how it said membership? Because that now is in the title of the head section of our web page. Then 6.1.2, change the background color of the whole page to that text. Okay, bisque, I don't know. I don't know what that color is, so let's try it. So we've got the body and we're gonna say a property is the BG color. Remember it's American spelling, so that's why there's no U in color. And I'm gonna say it's that, we put it in double quotes. Let's see if that changes anything. So I'm gonna save it. And then if I come to this, if I refresh it, Okay, so that's the background color. Looks, I think that seems correct. Seems thematic for our zoo. Then 6.1.3, modify the code to display a horizontal line between the text 27th of December, closed and term. So if we look at the diagram over here, do you see there's a line between the closed and the membership? So let's go see if we can modify the code to display the horizontal line. So, so we don't have a line at the moment, but we've got this over there. So let's find 6.1.3, there it is. So they've got this width 70%. I'm assuming that that's gonna be the width of the horizontal line. So we're gonna put an HR tag, which is the horizontal rule. It's just a single tag. It closes automatically. It does not have a close tag. So I think just putting that in, it's one mark. I think that's all we have to do. And if I save that and then refresh this, yeah, that looks a lot better compared to the diagram. So the width would have been 70% for it. Then 6.1.4, format the last sentence starting with zoo animals to display as in the screenshot. There we can see zoo animals are ambassadors. So we can see that it looks like it's in the middle and it looks like it's skewed a little bit. So that means it's italics. Is owls in the middle? If I come down, like so our one is also in the middle, but we want that to be in italics. So I'm gonna scroll down here and let's put the open the R tag for italics. And then at the end of the word Hanna, we're going to put the close the R tag. And if I save that and refresh that, there it's skew a little bit, it's like someone sat on it. So it's a little skew, that's italics. And then 6.1.5, create a hyperlink to display the word map as shown in the screenshot. So at the, there you can see the word map and it must link to the other web page, the 6.1 nav web page. So if I come here, there we can see that they've tried to put in a link. So the first thing we must take note of is our links are anchor tags. So they start with an A and the property of it that's going to go somewhere is called the href. 
attribute. So that's going to be there. Then we must close our A tag. Now, whatever is in between the A tag and the close tag is what will be the link. So we want the word map to appear there. So let's just test this for now. We're going to save it. And then if I come down and refresh this, you can see, okay, we've definitely got our map at the moment. But if I click on it, it doesn't go anywhere because it's going to 61nav.gif, which if I look at the files, that is a web page. You can right click on it, go to properties, and you can see that its extension is HTML. It's not a GIF. So we're going to click on that and say that's an HTML file. And then we can save it. So let's refresh this now. And now click on the link. And there it's gone to a brand new page. Doesn't have a nice image there, but we'll see how it goes. It's maybe that's what we're going to do next. Now we must save what we've done, which we've been doing already. And then we're going to open up the 61 nav file. Okay, so the nav file. So what I'm going to do, I can literally just drag this over here so that I've got access to it. And I can drag this one over here. So I've got access to it. Oh, I've got it over there as well. But so we've got both files. Okay, so I'm in the 61 nav file. And they want me to edit the tag so that the map image displays. Insert the code so that if the image does not display, the text zoom map shall appear. So let's do that part first because then we can test that. So we see there's an image. It's got source 6 map, okay? But we want the text zoom map to appear if we do not have an image to display, which is what it's currently got. So that's the alt property or attribute, and that must equal to zoo-map. So that's what it looks like if there's no image to display. So let's test that. I'm going to save it. And if I refresh this, do you see the word zoom map now appears because it can't display the image. So that's what I want. But I want the image to actually display. And we, we want that image to display. What, what, where is the image? So there is the image, 6 map. And I'm going to right click on it and go to properties. And you can see that it's a GIF file. So that means we must say 6 map. That is the right spelling of it. Dot if we must put the extension of the image source is that and this image is going to close by itself so i'm just going to put a close so i don't know if that will make a difference it's only two marks so i think it's the alt tag and the changing of the gift let's save it refresh it there we go we've got our map i think it fits there's our lovely map so we can display so our membership bar will now go to the map that we can see okay i think that's all done i'm going to save this and then close it and then scroll down is there another file oh open the incomplete six fees file which is that one. I'm going to open that one up in the Notepad++. I'm also going to open up in Chrome over here. I can close these others. I don't need them. And so let's see what they want. They want to modify the code so that it looks like this. That's what we want it to look like. Okay, so there's quite a few things that we need to do. So let's have a look. So first of all, we want all of this to be in the middle of the page, if I remember, if it looks correct. So let's put, all, let's put a center tag around all of this. That's seems like a feasible thing although all of this is in its own paragraph so i wonder if we can put a line equal to center over here and see if that does anything so if i save it and then refresh it okay so it just does the heading we don't get to center the the table as well i wonder if i put a line equal to center here if that will change anything if we save it okay so we've got it centered in the middle then what else do we want to do so i'm gonna look over here we're gonna see there's five things that we've got to change so we've done the centered part i think that's one if i look there at prices if you look here do you see prices needs to be merged over it needs to span over two columns so i think there's a column span on prices so if i come over here so where we see prices that heading needs to have a call span because it's spanning over two columns or merging over two columns. So if I do that change and then refresh, so that looks a little bit better. So that's our second change. Those blocks don't look correct. Also, we're missing values over there. If I just bring it slightly to the side, we're missing a 300 over there and we miss the 500 from pensioner must move across. So those are the things that we're missing in those blocks. So if we come here to child four years and older, in this block over here, we are missing the 300 Rand. So we're going to put in Rand 300. And then for pensioner, you see pensioner is one block, but we actually want the 500 to be. So we're going to close this block, close the TD cell, and then we're going to open up a new TD or cell for the 500. That way we can hopefully put a value in there and move the 500 over there. So let's save it and refresh it. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Looking a lot closer to what we've got here. And the only other thing I can really see here 
is that there's a dark border around it. So the, the border is quite thick, where here we don't have a border around it. So let's make a thicker border for the whole table. So that's the table property. And at the moment the border is one. What happens if I make it a lot? Let's make it three. Will that make a difference? Okay, it does put a nice outer border. So I wonder if we can make that five or something like that. If that'll make it significantly thicker that we can see that there's a border around. I think that's the other change. So my gut's telling me that the center is one mark, the border is one mark, the coal span is one mark, and these two values being the right cells is one mark. So I think that's going to get you the five marks for that question. And then I think it's done. Okay, so that's, we saved it. And now we can move on to our final question. Please help out the channel by clicking on that subscribe button, leaving a like, leave a comment, and sending our videos to other people so we can help them as well. Don't forget our theory channel, at Mr. Long Computer Terms, and on TikTok, at Mr. Long Education. And don't do the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.